Well, the U.N.'s special envoy for Syria says no tangible progress has been made at the final round of Astana peace talks this year. Stefan de Mistura said leaders and representatives of guarantor countries for Syria could not end their 10-month stalemate on the formation of a constitutional committee. Opposition leaders had earlier warned that it was too soon to talk about rebuilding the country when a ceasefire had still not been reached for the northwestern province of Idlib. All right, well, let's do a post-mortem on this with our Ahmed Aliolu, who joins us now on set. Ahmed, where did things break down? At the very beginning, Kilmeny, when uh, the, tw the 31st of uh, January in Suche, they all the parties agreed that they have this constitutional committee must be formed and a political uh, solution will be offered on the table. But things were, were not kind of pragmatic on the ground. First, when they come to the uh, choice of these members of the committee, they agreed on three different lists, the civil society, the regime, and the opposition. 50 from each party of them. The regime said we need two-thirds, like at least they want the 50 plus a half of the uh, civil society. And they disagreed with the list that the UN and Dimastura, the outgoing Dimastura, nominated for the civil society. They said he must be a facilitator, not a decision maker. Most of them, according to the regime, were from the hoc, uh, the hawkish wings of the uh, the, the opposition. So from the very beginning, the choice of the, the committee was so difficult. The opposition, on the other hand, they were thinking like, we're not going to work on the constitution, and you when The regime wants to work on the 2012 constitution, which means the security forces will be in the hand of the president. Another two terms for Bashar al-Assad, who is going to stay in power till 2035, which is something for the opposition doesn't make any sense, which is the crux of the whole revolution they started in 2011, that blew things up. In addition to uh, the, you know, the uh, Putin kind of things, he wants a kind of a, a, a constitution a tailor made to his own will and liking. He wants to show that the diplomacy of Russia succeeded, unlike the occupation of Iraq 2003, the, the American version of Middle East policy. With all these factors, they didn't maintain to come to the ground with a kind of a solid, a practical kind of constitution committee that can work on it. Well, exactly. And the opposition said, even going into these talks, that it was too soon for, to start thinking about a political solution in, in Syria. The, the, both the, the opposition and the regime are not in a kind of conciliatory tone or mood. First, the regime has the upper hand now. They completely weakened in the past 10 months a kind of a, the stalemate because the opposition doesn't have any strong cards to offer on the, uh, the table to, uh, you know, develop or enhance its own negotiation terms. They're in the weak uh, kind of corner. On the other hand, you have the regime who wants to uh, practice empowered, emboldened by the military la a landslide kind of victory over the, uh, the opposition. You have Turkey, on the other hand, reluctant to have the uh, kind of YPG terrorist group that controls at least 30% of a northern Syria, which means that the Turkish government is not willing to have them because they are offshoot to PKK terrorist organizations. So you do not have a kind of monolithic kind of opposition with the, against the regime. The opposition is weak. The regime doesn't need any kind of this kind of reconciliatory. So you, you don't find any room to this kind of political movement to succeed. All right. Ahmed Aliolo, thanks for breaking that down for us. Our TRT World Editor at Large, Ahmed Aliolo, thanks.